the solo astronaut who orbited the far side of the moon. I am alone now, truly alone, and absolutely isolated from any known life. For 47 minutes at a time, Michael Collins lost all contact with humanity. His spacecraft passed behind the moon. This cut off all radio transmission. He was the forgotten third astronaut of Apollo 11. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made history as the first humans to walk on the lunar surface. Meanwhile, Collins piloted the Columbia Command Module in lonely orbit. His critical mission was to keep their mothership functioning. Without him, there would be no way home for the moonwalkers. During those 22 hours, his colleagues explored below. Collins circled the moon alone. Each orbit took him behind the far side. The moon's mass blocked all radio signals there. NASA's mission control noted his extraordinary isolation. Not since Adam has any human known such solitude as Mike Collins is experiencing. The space agency wasn't exaggerating. <clears throat> when Collins disappeared behind the moon, he became completely cut off. He was separated from all known life, as he later wrote. If a count were taken, the score would be 3 billion plus 2 over on the other side of the moon and one plus God knows what on this side. Yet Collins wasn't consumed by his own isolation. His greatest fear was for his colleagues' safety. He worried Armstrong and Aldrin might perish on the lunar surface. They might not survive during their ascent. If that happened, Collins would have had to return to Earth alone. He'd be forever known as the astronaut who came home without his crewmates. My secret terror has been leaving them on the moon and returning to Earth alone. Collins confessed. He estimated their overall mission survival chances at just 50-50. Collins's training had been uniquely intense. He was prepared to pilot the spacecraft completely solo, under extreme conditions. He compiled a 117-page manual of emergency procedures. He even designed the iconic Apollo 11 mission patch. When Armstrong and Aldrin finally returned to the command module, Collins was overjoyed. He was so relieved he considered kissing Aldrin on the forehead. He decided against it. He joked later that the history books wouldn't like that. He left NASA shortly after Apollo 11 for a civilian career. In later years, when asked if he regretted not walking on the moon himself, Collins consistently expressed gratitude for his role. I honestly felt really privileged to be on Apollo 11, to have one of those three seats. He said, Did I have the best of the three? No. But was I pleased with the one I had? Yes.